Driving YouTube. It's a beautiful day. Today, it's new bike day. I actually ended up getting an e-bike after about a year of deciding and debating if I should do it and not do it and whatnot. I ended up getting it and ended up getting the Vasari Temp Peak. Uh, there was a lot of bikes that I was looking at to get. Specialized was having some good sales. YT was having some good sales. Rocky Mountain was good. The Orbea was good. A little bit out of my price range. Um, but ultimately, I decided to get the Fazari Temp Peak Launch Edition. I think it was a good solid price for the components that you get and the travel that it had, um, which is what I really liked. The only complaint so far that I've had right now is the length of delivery. I was quoted a certain amount of time and it came way longer than it was supposed to. I don't want to get into that too much. Maybe I'll dive into that at the end of this video, but um, I'm happy that it's here. Got it built. Had it for a few days already. I actually hit Snow Valley on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, so I'm going to sneak in a quick little ride before work because you can do that now, now that you're on the e-bike. So definitely stoked, definitely excited. Uh, I know the bike's very capable. I really want to get comfortable on the bike. I'll be heading out to Santa Cruz in about a month with a couple buddies. We're all going to be on full power Eeps. So I really want to get this thing dialed in before I go out there. So yeah, new bike day, exciting day. Very, very exciting. Not exciting for the pocketbook, but excited for like you, general as a person. If you've been following my page, you know that I started a clothing brand called Ride Dirty Clothing Co. We just launched our summer 23 collection. You can go check it out, ridedirtyclothing.com. This is one of the original shirts. I've been wearing the shirt since our launch in October of last year. It's now June. It doesn't fade, it doesn't wrinkle, it doesn't crinkle, it doesn't bake a neck. It's high premium material that we're using. So go ahead, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. If you wanna see a certain design or if you think we can do something a little bit better, hey, let us know. We're always looking to improve, but appreciate you guys checking that out. This is what I gotta get used to. It's taking it off the truck with the new weight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. But there she is. 170 front and rear. Rock shock. Zeb Ultimate. Rock shock. Super Deluxe Ultimate in the rear. TRP brakes, one up carbon bar, Ergon grips. You got Maxxis, that's the guy in the front, DHR in the rear. The only thing I don't like so far is this magnet. Is the speed magnet. 
and it clocks it right here on this little black thing right here. I don't know why the hell they put it on the spoke and not on the brake rotor like everyone else. Hella wild, but whatever. We're still gonna test it out. All right, doing some more testing. First time at Rocky Peak. I'm gonna go down side action and then climb up. Okay, got her. Nice and easy. All right, not too bad. Most of the compression. Ice me used to open up a little bit. Went through a lot of travel in the back. But alright, cruising up, I'm in boost. Overall, this is my third ride mm -hmm. on the bike. Feels good, feels planted. Definitely does. Easy to jump. Suspension is pretty easy to dial. Sped up the rebound on the last trip. Or should I say the last ride? But it's definitely comfortable. Very effortless bike to ride, I will say that. Um, Stops pretty good, the TRPs are pretty awesome. I may have to bleed my right one. But aside from that, solid. Still getting bushwhacked. As if that was gonna change. I feel like my back's getting bumped around. I may have to change the settings back there. Just trying to dial in the fork. Well, I'll work on the suspension on the rear. Deep compression in the back right there. All right. Better. Definitely felt a deep compression coming down that time, but better. Whew. All right, so I've ran the Tim Peak three times so far. Mostly all pretty mellow, some chunk, some fast, some speed. Kind of dial in the suspension. But overall right now, I really like it. It's really nimble, it's really capable, it's really able. It doesn't feel like an e-bike. I know everyone's been saying that lately, but it, kind of makes sense it just it pops nicely it lands nicely 
pedals easily. Uh, the TRP brakes, I'm actually starting to really like. I gotta bleed the right one. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty solid. I like the GX shifting. Can't really shift under load. It makes a lot of noise. Um, aside from that, I'm really happy with the bike. I'm happy the way it's performing. I gotta start taking it down some road chunk. But the one thing I didn't like about the whole process was the lead time, the communication with Fazari. Um, I've been seeing it along the forums. People are getting quoted, you know, five to seven, ten days, and then they're getting their bikes six, seven, eight weeks, nine weeks later. Um, it's kind of BS if you ask me. Like, just tell me it's going to be six weeks, and I'll wait the six weeks, but don't tell me it's going to be five to seven days, which it was in my situation. And then all of a sudden, I had to wait six weeks for the bike. Um, so that expectation that they set early on was kind of the one thing I wasn't happy about. But bikes here was easy to build. Everything's look, everything looks good. Uh, I am running the mullet setup. I am liking the mullet setup. I don't really feel that it's on a mullet, to be honest with you. I thought I was going to be able to tell a big difference that it wasn't going to be uh, a 29er in the back. But I don't even feel the difference at all, to be honest. Um, but overall, I like it. Feels good. Uh, I may change the grips. That's probably about it right now. So yeah, uh, so far, love it. Good bike, if you're on the fence, it's definitely a good bike to get. It's a good ripper. Uh, I'll put some more miles on it and I'll keep posting videos. So uh, yeah, thanks.